Hi guys, got a request here from Muaz Dafalia to make a periscope. Well, before I make one, we'll just have a look at this one which I bought in Poundland for a pound. It's very simple. We've got a mirror at that end and a mirror at that end. And if you line it up, you can look in there and see out the other end. This one is made from three separate tubes, so you can extend it nicely. And I suppose the only important thing about it is that mirror is at a 45 degree angle and that mirror is at a 45 degree angle. So the light comes in, hits the mirror, turns through 90 degrees, comes down the tube, hits the other mirror, turns through 90 degrees again and goes into your eye. So that's really the only two important things you need to do. Two mirrors at 45 degrees at each end and that turns the incoming light 90 degrees and then 90 degrees again back to the way it started out. I mean, with this one you can turn it that way as well so you can look behind yourself if you want to, if you really wanted to. So we're going to try and make a periscope. Got some cheap mirrors from Poundland, pound each. These might be interesting to try because on one side they're concave, so they're magnifying. So that might actually help to focus things a bit. We'll see what happens. Got a cardboard tray which is actually not quite as big as I'd like it to be but we'll have to make do because I want to be able to make a box shape with it which needs to be four times that width and that's only going to be three times if I'm lucky I'll have to use the edges and fold them over as well and I'll make it as long as I can so that we get the best effect out of it. So I'll cut it so that we can maximise it.
Now to test it. It's my back window. So if we line up our periscope, we'll come down here somewhere. And there we go. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't really focus at that distance, so you can't really see what we're looking at. Probably only see stuff that's close up. Still, there we go. A simple periscope. With two, I think they call them vanity mirrors. And the important thing was the 45 degree angle so that we can see the light go in hit the mirror, come down, hit the other mirror, and come out. Job done, I think.